I had to go to the doctor recently because there was a rash on my stomach, and he said it was from my belt buckle. I guess I'm just allergic to anything that makes me more masculine. So. <laughs> my friend was like, yeah, I think I'm sick because I feel really weak. I'm like, I think I've been sick for like 29 years now. I should probably <laughs> get that looked at. I also went to a dentist recently. He's like, say, ah. Oh. I was like, ah. Oh. He's like, you don't have to vocalize it. I'm like, that's the only way I know how to say things. <laughs> My friend said he had mono, which I understand, because I have mono tone. But anyway, <laughs> all right. I also, uh, recently I got checked for STDs. I don't think when you show up for that, the doctor's supposed to look at you and be like, you've got nothing to worry about. <laughs> I was like, uh, don't you have to do some tests or something first? And he's like, I did by looking at you. And you have to have sex first before you can get that. So, But the doctor was like, uh, he was like, all right, you can pee in this cup or we can stick a swab in your urethra. I was like, I'm going to pee in the cup. Like, I don't really need time to think about it. It's like if he was like, you can have this nice dinner or we can stick a swab in your urethra, so. I was a little bit nervous because I hooked up with someone and then I noticed there was a white spot under my tongue and the doctor told me it was fine. It was crystallized saliva from dehydration because I had gone down on her for so long, which is not an STD, but that is my new profile bio on OkCupid. So. But I was also nervous. I watched this movie about HPV, and I didn't know that's what it was about. I thought HPV was like an abbreviation for Harry Potter 5. <laughs> but I figured it out after like two hours in. I was like, all right, hold on a second. I don't think they're supposed to be calling it Hogwarts, first of all. That, that is not medically accurate terminology. I've been going to a lot of movies. I went to see the new Avengers movie, and it took me through a lot of emotions, like mostly fear of getting a bladder infection from having to pee <laughs> for that long. At the end of the movie, I was crying, mostly because no one came to see it with me. <laughs> but then I snuck into this other movie afterwards, and no one had bought a ticket to that movie, so they just turned it off halfway through. <laughs> I guess they didn't think anyone was in there, or they looked in and they saw me, and they're like, this nerd doesn't need to know how the movie ends. <laughs> But anyway, I watched that movie, Wonder Woman. I found out Wonder Woman has a lot of cool powers. Like, she can make all the German people in World War I use English as their main language. <laughs> but I couldn't really be in an action movie. I'm too indecisive. Like, there's always a scene where something's exploding. Someone's like, no. Like, if I was in that movie, I'd just be like, maybe. <laughs> But I love the Fast and the Furious movies, and I was watching this one that took place in New York City, so they do all these cool stunts, like driving over three miles an hour during rush hour. <laughs> I think the titles are just getting shorter. The one I saw was called Furious 7, and then the next one's just gonna be called like <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I saw this one movie, The Happening, which a lot of my friends thought wasn't scary, but I disagree because I'm terrified of mediocre plots. And <laughs> it was about this epidemic that causes people to spontaneously want to kill themselves, which is what happened to me after sitting through like five minutes of it. <laughs> but I also, I always got scared by that movie, The Ring, because this voice would call people. He's like, you're going to die in seven days. I thought I heard that in my voicemail, but it was just like a guy from my library. He was like, you've got a book too in seven days. <laughs> Return it or you'll die. I'm like, wow, they're stepping up that return policy. 